Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wallow Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown Radio. I'm here live on a red carpet at Showtime of the Avenue. Stay tuned for all the interviews. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wallow Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown Hot Radio. We're here live on a red carpet, Showtime of the Avenue, and I'm with the creator. Portia and Tone of the South, how y'all doing? Period. Portia Madrid, back at it again. Kicking it with my boy, Tone of the South. This is Showtime at the Avenue. And just like the Apollo in New York, we are literally at the Avenue here in Hateville slash Atlanta, Georgia. Now, this is just like the Apollo, and people are able to boo and express themselves. They're also able to love on each other. They get to say their personal opinions, and we turn up, don't we? Now, your role here is a Sandman, right? I'm sorry, Walil. I'm so used to doing what you do. You see, I didn't took over. I, this is my friend, and I'm so happy he's here. I'm sorry. Do your thing. Talk to me about being the Sandman. Uh, my favorite part is probably when they boo, and I get to kick them off the stage, exit stage left. So. so you enjoy kicking them off the stage? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and talk to me. What made you create this concept? So uh, I actually was doing a consultation with someone in um, Baton Rouge and she wanted to do something similar but not with like a celebrity and it wasn't predetermined. So people could just walk up um, at her daiquiri bar and, you know, perform. So I said, well, I would like to do that. Well, God said, you should do that, but you need to bring back the Apollo and you need to do it in Atlanta where people don't tell the truth. They just take people's money, they let them perform, and they don't give them any type of adequate feedback. They don't give them any context or any type of resources for them to elevate. So this is what this is all about. That's why people like yourself, you're hot in the city. Number one podcaster, number one radio show, you're always on the red carpets doing your thing. You're here. We got my girl Seven here. Jock is on his way up. We got Big Moolah. We have people from Mississippi. We got people from Florida. It's so much going on in the room today. Vendors, it's food, it's good vibes. And it's just bringing back that culture of black love and that when you step into the room, you know that a star could be born. And let everybody know where to find you at on social media. So he's at Tone of the South. That's T-O-N-E-O-F-S-O-U-F. Um, and I'm Portia Madrid, I got it again, P-O-R-C-H-E-M-A-D-R-E, -E, and then go to Showtime at the Avenue on all social media platforms, and tune in on YouTube as well as Instagram, and then after that, you can get us on all the social media platforms. Thanks for doing the interview. Uh, no, thank you for coming. Like, it's a pleasure to have you. I really appreciate you. My pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wild Lil Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown High Radio. I'm on the red carpet with Big Moolah. How are you? I'm good, and you? Good. What brings you out to Showtime of the Avenue? Um, so I'm here to support my girl Portia. That's my everything. But I'm an artist as well. And I'm here to perform too. Talk to me about being an artist. Um, I've been rapping for about eight years or whatever. They say it takes 10 years before you become one of the greats. So I'm making my way there. Today made a year that I made a diss song about Young Miami for asking me why my ass was so far apart. So I'm here to celebrate my anniversary too. And I also got a concert coming up April 6th. Congratulations. And what song are you performing tonight? Um, tonight I'm going to perform my hit single that I dropped on my birthday title, 830. My birthday was August 30th. And how did you come up with that title? Um, my birthday was, um, my birthday was, I was born 830. My daughter father died the eighth month. I mean, the... He died on the 30th of the 5th month, and his birthday is the 8th month. So, it all just, down the line where y'all know who I am, y'all will get the storyline. You have any music videos out? Uh, I have music videos everywhere. I'm Shay Moolah on all major platforms. My YouTube is Big Moolah underscore, that's Moolah with two L's. Tell me, what all goes into doing a music video? Pardon me? Tell me what goes into doing your music video. Um, so... To the world, I was a dancer. Well, I am a dancer, like a choreographer. So a lot of my videos be all hype because I like to move. If I can't move, then I ain't feeling it. So my new video, 8.30, will be on its way. I dropped my mixtape April 6th. My concert is April 6th. There's a lot going on on April 6th. Now, how did you learn how to dance? Um, I was like born into it. Like my mom danced, my aunties, my grandmother. So it was just hereditary. Well, thank you for doing the interview. Thank you for having me.
Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wale Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Dance Hot Radio. I'm here live on the red carpet, Showtime of the Avenue, and I'm with Mello. How are you? I'm great. How you doing? Good. So you're a music artist? Yes, sir. Talk to me about being a music artist. It's fun. It's exciting. It's um, time consuming. It's a lot of things. Sometimes stressful. Sometimes it could be the best moments of my life. Speaking of the stressful part, how do you deal with your stress when it comes to the music? I normally have to take like a day or two, just to kind of take like, like a mental reset, physical reset. And how did you get into music? I actually started making music when I was a kid, but um, professionally, I got back into it mm, about 2016, something like that, around that time. But I mean, I just music has just always been a part of my life. And what song are you currently pushing now? Right now, I'm pushing a song called Miss No Sleep. I uh, dropped it on February 28th. Right now, I got 10,000 streams on it on Spotify, so make sure y'all plug in, tap in with me. Miss No Sleep, Mellow Cool. Can I cuss? No. AL. Any um, music videos? Yeah. Um, if you go to my, my YouTube, my YouTube is Mellow, M-E-L-L-O, Cool, C-O-O-L-A-F. That's capital A, capital F. You know what the AF means. Um, you can go on there and I have some of my videos and I also have a couple of videos with a couple of other artists as well. Awesome. Let everybody know where they can find you on social media. You can find me everywhere on social media at We Want Mellow. W-E-W-A-N-T-M-E-L-L-O. Love it. Thanks for doing the interview. All right. Thank you. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wale Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown High Radio. I'm here live on the red carpet with Shorty Rock. How you doing? I'm blessed, man. Happy to be here. Let everybody know what brings you out to Showtime of the Avenue. Well, actually, um, I'm representing the Coliseum tonight. So we're a media outlet, but we also are a podcast network. So I got uh, I got three podcasts that are going to be here tonight. And we're going to be doing interviews, talking to people, and just getting to know everybody and spreading the, spreading the good news. <laughs> How did you get into podcasts? Uh, well, actually, a long time ago, well, I, I, I was a rapper. I'm semi-retired. So a long time ago, I was asked to be a guest on a podcast. This was like back in, back in the day. And then I liked it so much that they asked me to be a part of the podcast. And then after that, I just started developing my own show and then started developing producing other podcasts and other shows. Are you facing any obstacles with doing podcasts? I am. Actually, dedicated people. It's the hardest thing because, you know, sometimes people see the podcast, we be having fun, we, we be interviewing celebrities, going, going a lot of places, but people don't realize how much work it is and how often and consistent we be in the streets doing what we do. And talking about that, how, how, could, how, would you, how do you stay consistent in this industry? Um, really by the grace of God, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know that I'm headed to a, a certain direction because one day I want to be able to put the shows that I produce on um, networks, national networks, whether it's television, radio, or even um, other podcast networks. And eventually I want to be able to sell the Coliseum as well, all 15 shows, because we're pushing to get over 30 podcasts on, uh, um, on the network before the end of the year. So I know in order to do that, I got to be consistent. I got to stay motivated. I got to stay focused on the prize. Now talk to me about podcasts. As you know, a lot of people want to do their own podcast. So what advice can you give to somebody that's inspiring to do a podcast? The best advice that I can give for somebody who wants to do a podcast is don't do it alone. Stop thinking that you can just grab your phone and, and, and put out some audio or do it bootleg. Get with a real videographer like myself or yourself and connect with them and, and really utilize their resources so that when you do it, it looks good. Um, it's professional, and people are actually going to want to watch it because of the quality. Sounds good. Let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Okay, so you can find me all over the place, but I want you all to download my app. It's www.khaliseum.com backslash A-P-P. That's the Coliseum. Dot com backslash app and you can find me personally shorty roc nyc on all platforms but definitely hit me up on instagram or even facebook thanks for doing the interview thank you appreciate you hey guys peace and blessings this is my little archer from the real rap radio show on downtown hop radio i'm here live on the red carpet with Najee the goddess how are you i'm good how are you good so what brings you out to showtime of the avenue today well, I'm an upcoming model, so I'm just trying to put myself out there and 
just network a little bit to find some more prospects and connects that I can do work with and just get out here and just give it a shot. How did you get into modeling? Uh, I actually started out because I did beauty pageant and stuff growing up, so I found a love in it for that, and then I kind of got out, and now I'm trying to get back into it. And I say most people say I naturally look like a model, so why not do it if I got the opportunities? Talk about being a model. What has been some of your challenges being a model? Well, I'm a mother, so a lot of that is I, I got to put my kids first, so that delayed me doing And just putting other people in my family and their needs before me and what I want. And now I'm trying to just put myself in a position that I put myself first in the things that I want because I'm not trying to have life, you know, pass me by and I don't take my shot. So now I'm here. What type, what type of modeling are you doing? Uh, I want to do fashion modeling, runway. I want to do music videos. I really want to do some of everything because I'm very versatile. What have you done so far? Right now, nothing. That's why I say I'm upcoming. Okay, okay, up and coming. I didn't know you had anything under your belt yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet, but it's going to come soon. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. You can follow me at Nas J the Goddess. That's how y'all spell it. Nas J the Goddess. Thank you for doing the interview. Thank you. You have a great day. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wild Lil Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown Hot Radio. I'm here on the red carpet with Pretty K. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What brings you out to Showtime of the Avenue? I came out here for Porsche. I seen her at my video shoot uh, like Sunday, Saturday, and she invited me out here, so I came out here to perform for her. And how did you come up with your name? So I'm pretty. And my name Kyra, so I just came Pretty K. It was a little simple, catchy. Very catchy, and it actually matches. So you performing, what song are you performing tonight? I'm performing my song, Walk It Out, Nathan, and my song, Bring Me Peace. And tell us briefly about those songs. Walk It Out is kind of fun. It just reminded me of the Walk It Out from back in the day when I used to dance. So that's where I got that from. Nathan, that's just basically like, bitches ain't talking about Nathan. Like, people ain't talking about nothing. And Bring Me Peace, that's dedicated to my grandma. So it's more mellow. And how did you get into music? Um, I started writing when I was younger. And I used to do like chorus and stuff like that. I just love writing, so. Any advice you would get to inspire artists? Uh, I just say keep going and keep perfecting your craft every day. Just keep working on it. Do you get nervous when you perform? Yes, I do. I'm shy. <laughs> and let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Y'all can follow me, follow me on Instagram at only Kyra with three H's at the end. That's K Y R A H H H. And y'all can listen to my music on all platforms at Pretty K. Capital motherfucking K. Don't forget. Thank you for doing the interview. <laughs> Thank y'all. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Wild Lil Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown High Radio. I'm here on the red carpet with Freshy. How you doing? Yo, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm doing great. What brings you out to Showtime of the Avenue? Yo, I'm just performing. I want to show my guests. I just dropped a new album on March 23rd. It's called The Rebirth. And uh, the vibe's a little bit like Afrobeat, house music. Some stuff that people don't really expect when they see me. So I'm just out here to show my, my gifts to the rest of the world. What's the name of the album? It's called The Rebirth. The Rebirth. And what's some of the songs on the rebirth? Uh, the main single that I'm pushing right now is called My Peace. So y'all can find that on all platforms. Then we have Kill Em All. One of my most common ones that everybody's been playing a lot is Stay. And then Remember Me is the, the closing track. It's only eight tracks, so definitely got to check it out. You said My Peace is the one you're pushing? How did you come with that title? Um, just going through life, and I feel like I like to heal the world and have relatable music. And I feel like it's just a message that your piece is your own to own and that everybody can resonate with the song. So it's it's really been popping off the way I needed it to. So, yeah, I love it. You have any music videos out? Do I have any what? Music videos out? Oh, yeah. So I just dropped the music video for my piece the same day I dropped the album. So that's also on YouTube. Y'all can go check that out. We're already running up the views and the likes on that. So just type in my piece and Freshy and you guys will see everything. And talk to me about putting the music video together. What all went into that? So I'm also a filmmaker and a cinematographer, so I have a very artistic approach when it comes to how I went about the music video, but we was out at the Lux Galore Studios, um, just a Bali set, but I wanted to tell a story, so I believe in short films. As movies, I feel like a lot of times nowadays, people don't have that storyline for real anymore, so I definitely took the cinematic approach. I have some spoken word in it, like it's, it's a whole masterpiece in my opinion, so definitely say check it out for sure. 
And where can they find you at on social media? Okay, y'all can follow me on all platforms at Freshie Official. That's F R E S H I E Official everywhere. And yeah, that's it. Let's get it. <laughs> Thank you for doing the interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Hey, guys, peace and blessings. This is Wild Little Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Dan Time Radio. We're here live on the red carpet, Showtime of the Avenue, and I'm with Q. How you doing? What's going on, man? Mr. Big CEO of his own management company. Let's talk about your management company. All right, so I got a management company called Bleeding Heart Music Management. I manage artists. I do marketing. I do everything. I get you shows. I can do it all. How did you get started? I started in 2019 after my brother passed away. I wanted to give back, so I took my situation and I put it to the music. And let's talk about some of the artists you manage. What are some of the common mistakes you see them making? I manage like uh, a couple of dudes, and I have managed a girl. My dudes are um, on tour. It's starting another tour July 20th um, in North Carolina, Mega Festival. Um, we also did tours with Sikiana, uh, Frito Bang. Man, we be everywhere. We worldwide. Bleeding Heart Music Management everywhere. What are some of the common mistakes you see artists is making? They be paying for stuff that they don't need. Like, get with a marketing company that really going to do what they say. Stop paying for stuff that you already that you don't need. Plus, you need to don't drop no music unless your paperwork is together. It's no sense to keep dropping songs if your music ain't together. Copyrighted, all that. And where can they find you at on social media? They can find me on Instagram, babyq underscore the manager, Facebook, with Telepix, my whole government name. I'm everywhere. Appreciate the interview. You too, sir. Thank you. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is my little Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown High Radio. I'm here live with Fee. How you doing? I'm doing good today. How you doing, brother? Good. So what brings you up to Showtime of the Avenue? Man, just really trying to come out of the network, man, and see what I can do with my musical career, brother. I'm out here with my team, my media team, and my managers and everything. We're trying to get this thing off the ground, bro. Okay. So let everybody know about being a music artist. Man, it's a struggle, especially if you're independent, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean... It's all about what you put out, man, because, I mean, even what you put out, a lot of us ain't going to get back, you know what I'm saying? So you just got to roll with it, you know what I'm saying? But just finding the right connections, man, is what it's about, man, and being the right people. So you're going to rub a lot of the wrong hands, but just learn to weed them out, you know what I'm saying, to get to the right one. So that's all it is, man. Talking about struggle, what are the three of your biggest struggles? I mean, it's being a, like an independent artist, finance, of course. Financial going to be that anyways, um, you know, and family time, you know what I'm saying, because I got to put in the extra grind, you know what I'm saying, that the normal motherfucker got to do with this, man, and making sure our people straight, man, like, because we got a team, you know what I'm saying, it's bigger than us. We got dancers, we got media people, we got, you know what I'm saying, photographers, everything, so we got to make sure everybody making something, not just one person, so it's a, it's a thing, man, for real, but we get it done, you know. How did you get started in music? Man, just poetry, really. You know what I'm saying? I started writing poetry. I was, a, you know what I'm saying? My brother stayed locked up. I was in a house with women, and I didn't want to hang around them, so I go in my room and just keep writing and shit. Then eventually, I just started doing music. I don't, it just came to me. I don't know. But I started from poetry, though. I, I didn't do it to no beat or no shit. I was just writing just to free my mind, because this shit is really a release for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. Now, with it being so challenging, how do you stay, how do you overcome your challenges in this? I mean, I just put, I express it in my music. All the challenges I go through, I release it through that. So I don't get depressed, I don't know nothing. I stay with a good mind because I release it on my pad. If I feel it today, I go back to that song, I will feel it that day, and I play that song, and I keep it going. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. At I am underscore P-H-I. That's perfection, humble, impossible. Do everything to perfection. Be, uh, be humble and feel nothing impossible. My bad. But yeah, I'm the driver. I'm the smoking. I don't do it, man. No, but no. Uh, any social media, man. Google my name. At I am underscore P-H-I. You know what I'm saying? Put that shit in Google, man. Find me on everything. All social media platforms, Pandora, anything. You listen to your music on. Thanks for doing the interview. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is Walil Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown Hot Radio. I'm here live with Skelly. How are you? I'm doing fine. Peace and blessings. We're here on the red carpet showtime of the Avenue and let everybody know about your music uh, journey. Hey, listen, my music journey going great. Listen, I grew up in Gulfport, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? They got me out in Atlanta. It's a blessing to be here. I, I appreciate them for having me and I'll do this anytime. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go all the way up tonight. Talk about the music you're currently p promoting. Listen, I got, I'm, I'm on all platforms I'm under Scully Jeski. S-K-U-L-L-Y-G-E-E-S-K-I. -E -E no spaces, no none of that. It's on all platforms. I got my hit song, got Money in Music. 
Tinder, and I'm hurt. Go check that out. How did you come up with those titles? I mean, I make my music off how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So it, it really depends on how I'm feeling in that moment, you see what I'm saying? That's how I came up with the titles. I just, when, when, however I go with the hook, that's whatever the, na the name of the song gonna be. Do you have any music videos out? Nah, not currently, but they on the way. And, and let's talk about when you started. How did you get started in music? I ain't gonna lie. I start, I'm, I'm 20 years old, you know what I'm saying? So I, I started music when I was in high school, but I ain't really take it serious until now because, you know what I'm saying, I got discovered off a couple songs that I never really just took serious. So now I'm taking it serious because I can actually make revenue off of it, you know what I'm saying? And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Man, listen, on, on all social medias, S-K-U-L-L-Y, G-E-E, S-K-I, no spaces, everywhere, out now, everything. Go, go tap in with me. Appreciate you doing the interview. No problem. I appreciate you for having me. Hey, guys, peace and blessings. This is Wild Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Downtown Hot Radio. I'm here with a comedian, Tone of the South. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good. So what brings you out to Showtime of the Avenue? Uh, I, I dress up, and I'm like the Sandman, so I do everything but the tap dancing. Okay, let's talk about being a comedian. How did you get started? Uh, just always being funny. I was a class clown in like 11th grade. Like I won it, like for the yearbook and all that. And uh, just always, once I learned how to be funny, just always being funny. And I did Instagram videos. I've been doing them for about five years. So I've been on social media for about five and doing stand up for, it'll be three years in August. Do you ever get butterflies when you hit the stage? Uh, sometimes if it's a really big room or that's really it. Maybe if I'm trying new stuff out sometimes, but not really. I, I, I really enjoy the, that part of it, like being on stage and in front of everyone and uh, just showing, showing off what I be thinking. <laughs> Any challenges you face being a comedian? Uh, no, I wouldn't say there are any. Um, everything just... If, if God wants it to happen, it's going to happen. So it'll just flow if it's supposed to flow. And talk to me about being the Sandman. So being the Sandman is fun. Uh, my favorite part is when I kick him off stage, I'm like whispering to him. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I really hate to do this to you. But, you know, it's my job. So it's fun. And ain't nobody going to fight back because I'm a pretty big dude. So. <laughs> All right. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. It'll be Tone of the South. And the South is spelled with an F. So T-O-N-E of the S-O-U-F. Tone of the South, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Appreciate you doing the interview. Of course, I appreciate you.